In this video, we're going to look at how to create a drop down list in Google Sheets. First thing to do, open up Google Sheets. So I've got my, uh, my spreadsheet open. Next step, go to data and then go to data validation. You've got criteria, you've got list from a range, which I'll come back to, or list of items. List of items, you then enter the, the items that you want and you separate them by comma. So there you go, got some fruits. We want them as a drop down. If you don't, just untick that, but I do want them as a, as a drop down. And then when you're happy with that, press save. So you can see in the cell now, there's a little arrow there. Yeah. Click on it and I'll pick whatever item I want. Now I've only done it for that cell. So what I've done, I just spread the cell down and I'll update them all. Alternatively, there's a far better way of doing this. So what I'll do, I'll undo all of my, all of my things I've been doing. And I'm going to say, well, first off, you can have it blank. If you have it blank and then just drag it down, it makes all of them drop down without anything in there. Alternatively, if I delete them all, and I'll show you the process again. Now, if I want to do this before a bigger range rather than just the one cell, what I need to do is select the range first. So we want to do it for all the way down to that, and then do the same process. So data, data validation, there is my range. Okay, so that is the range there. And then I want to say list of items, put them in, etc. Press save, and then we've got my range. You can see it's got little drop down arrows. There you go. Picking any of them. All you've got to do is click on the little arrow to, to make the change. And there you go, you can see it working perfectly. Now I said there's more than one way of doing this. What you can do rather than typing each bit in, so rather than in data, and data validation, rather than having a list from items, which is the bits you've been typing in there, you could do list from a range. Now let me show you what that means. If I go to sheet two along the bottom, I'm gonna type in my range. I'm gonna say uh, pets, okay? So the range is called pets. I'll say uh, dog, cat, pig, cow, okay, common pets. Maybe go back to sheet one. So initially it's the same principle. So, so where do you want these drop down lists to appear? So I've selected all the cells I wanted to appear in. Go to data, data validation. We've got my range, which is this. Criteria, it's the list from a range. Okay. And then enter a range or formula. So we click in there, click on that little bit there. I need to select it. So go to sheet two and I'll highlight dog, cat, pig, cow. And I've not highlighted the title, just highlighted the ones I wanted. Press OK. Everything else is going to be the same. So just press save. Go back to sheet one. Now we've got these drop down arrows. And what's it going to give me the option for? There we go. Dog, cat, pig and cow. So you get the idea. So that's how you do that. Now, certainly this is what I'm more familiar with. This is what I've always done in Excel, this type of thing, having a, having a range somewhere else. Now, if you wanted to make a change to either of these ranges in terms of what's available. So currently we've got here Apple, Banana, Kiwi. Highlight all of them. Go to Data, Data Validation, and then just add in the object that you want. Or in this case, it's a fruit, orange. Press save. Now I'm hoping this works. There we go. Orange is now an option. The same for these ones. So if I go to sheet two, I'm gonna add in another another animal. That's a popular popular pet. Pet snake. Go back to sheet one. Highlight all of these. Go to data. Data validation. You can see the range. Click on the select data range. Or do go to sheet two. Now the easiest way just to delete that in the cell, or in that box, highlight it all, press OK, and save it. Go back to sheet one, and we should have snake on the list. And there you have it. So I'll pick snake for you there. 
I hope you found this video useful. Please subscribe to my channel and um, I'll keep making videos for Google Sheets. I've used Excel for for far too long, for many, many years. I'm quite new to uh, Google Sheets. So there's a few things I'm doing in this that are slightly different to what I've been used to. So as I discover new things, I'll keep creating videos for you all to learn from. Thank you very much.